Hey guys, it's Anthony with The Rag Company. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, can I use non-automotive detailing chemicals on my vehicle? So we're gonna be answering that question and more in today's FAQ video. So today we're gonna be talking specifically about cleaners. So in front of me is something you've probably seen before at the store. This is Super Clean, a heavy duty cleaner with heavy duty degreasing properties. I put this in the same category as products like Simple Green, Purple Power, LA's Awesome Cleaner. These are all heavy duty cleaners uh, that can be diluted but ultimately are ready to use right out of the bottle. So can you use these for auto detailing? Well that's a big question that you need to ask yourself, right? And I think you have to be uh, educated in order to ask the question but I think it's difficult because there is a ton of information out there and where do you take that information from, right? And so I've seen a ton of people online, whether it's in the forums, whether it's in the Facebook groups or even on YouTube, using these stories or bought heavy duty cleaners for detailing uh, and they're promoting it and they're educating and they're saying, hey, this is how you do it, uh, this is how I do it, yada, 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 but is this ultimately a safe option? Is this something that you should be doing? And so I wanted to make a video kind of giving you my take and my thoughts on this. I'm not gonna tell you you can or can't do this. I'm gonna kind of tell you uh, the perks and benefits of maybe using a product like this on something on your vehicle, uh, but maybe avoiding it on others. And uh, maybe you'll have a better takeaway from that rather than just watching a video or seeing the result from somebody else. Now, this is very similar to the rest of those cleaners I mentioned. Simple Green, Purple Power, LA's Awesome. They're all heavy duty degreasing chemicals. These things are high strength. These things are uh, super cleaning products. And so you have to ask yourself, how dirty is your vehicle? How dirty is your interior? How dirty is your exterior? And how much money do you feel like you have to save in order to get a cleaner interior, right? A cleaner, but potentially damaged interior interior. And so um, what do I mean by that? Well, these products right here become are ready to use. This right here was bought from the store. It's ready to use. This isn't diluted. I think that these chemicals in a diluted form can be used for plenty of tasks if needed. But I think sold as is, this gives the impression to people that they are ready to use, right? And being ready to use, these things could provide more cleaning power than you should ever need for maybe the task that you're doing. So uh, let's take your interior, for example. You have a dusty door panel. Would I need to use something like this to clean my dusty door panel? Absolutely not. I could take a damp microfiber towel and clean it better uh, and faster than I would with having to worry about the mess from this. But the problem really lies in the strength of these detailing chemicals. Do your research, find out what the pH of these products are before putting them on your plastics or your seats or your carpets because I've seen situations where people have taken cleaners like these on a hot day, sprayed them down right out of the bottle like this, went to go wipe them off and they perma-stained their door panels or they perma-stained their dash uh, to where they can no longer remove that stain. It has etched itself into the plastic because these are so potent and too potent for the job that they had at task. Now interiors, I personally think that these are overkill. I'm not telling you you can't do them. I think if you want to, then at least dilute them, but I would not recommend it. I don't think there's anything on the interior that's gonna be that bad to where you would have to use this. And for anything that has a deeper stain uh, or anything that's really, really disgusting or gunked up, I think there's certain cleaners out there that'll be safer for your interior and safer for yourself to use on. So when could you use something like this, right? When could you use something like LA's Awesome, Simple Green, yada, yada, yada? Uh, well, I think on the undercarriage of a vehicle, is a pretty safe place to do that. Um, anything where the suspension is, anything on the engine, these should be a safer option, especially something that's gonna be a little bit more affordable when you're doing a deep, deep clean. So if you're getting underneath your car, basically degreasing the exhaust, degreasing the undercarriage, decreasing the suspension components and things like that, this isn't a bad deal. I think it's really affordable. I think it's like what, 10 bucks for a gallon of the stuff. And I think you could use a lot of it. And with the help of a few brushes uh, and a hose, I think you could rinse things off, make it safe uh, and have it be very, very effective. Same thing goes with engine bay cleaning. Now, can you touch your paint with this stuff? Another thing that I do not recommend doing. I think that this is gonna eat through whatever protection you have on your paint. If you have a sealant, uh, if you have a wax, maybe even a coating, these could potentially break through uh, those products and damage your clear coat or damage your paint underneath. So I don't think it's worth it. I think the same thing goes for trim and the same thing goes for windows. Um, I just don't recommend it. I'm not saying you can't, uh, I'm saying I don't recommend it. But if you wanted to do any of that, right? If you wanted to say, Anthony, forget you, man. You don't know what you're talking about. You can use this, this is the same stuff that you would buy 
guy that any detailing company would sell and you don't know what you're talking about. If you are thinking like that, right, at least do yourself a favor, learn some dilution, right? And learn how to dilute the product so at least it's safer than how it is right out of the bottle. So hopefully that kind of answers the question. The stuff gets brought up all the time. I keep seeing a lot of bad information out there and I just want people to kind of uh, re-guess, right? And re-educate themselves and think, is it worth saving money uh, to basically cause potential irreversible damage uh, and cost you way more in the long run. Just ask yourself that. Most detailing chemicals, I would say 99% of all the detailing chemicals are tested uh, and are tested very thoroughly so we know that they are safe and used on chemistry that we are familiar with whereas this stuff is a little bit of a different realm. So hopefully you guys found this video entertaining or just educational and if you guys like it make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rag Company FAQ channel.